Hey guys, Games for Life here, and in today's video, we're gonna get infinite, yes, infinite carbon, glass, and ceramic. And here's how we're gonna do it we'll have three different farms each building one of the resources using soil. So we'll be able to have infinite carbon, glass and ceramic and it's really gonna help us along when we build some other stuff. Now we'll get straight into it. Here's my drawing of one of the farms. So we'll basically build this three different times and you can see there below all the resources you're gonna need to build one of these. Now of course you won't need three, one is enough. I just decided to go overboard because why not? So that's what we're gonna do. Here are all the items you're gonna need for this. Keep in mind, these are enough materials to build three of these farms. But before we get to building, let me mention a couple of things that you can craft using these resources. Just so you can see how valuable they really are. First, we've got carbon, with which you can build explosive powder, plastic, steel, and a ton of other stuff. But this is just the most important one. Then, with glass, you can build medium solar panels, medium resource canisters, large solar panels, large wind turbines, and a ton of other stuff. And with ceramic, of course, the extra large storage, the medium wind turbine, the extra large platform A, the landing pad, etc. As you can see, all of these resources are very important in Astroneer and we'll be using them a lot. Of course, you can also get them from the trade plan from pretty easily if you have a scrap farm and we do have a scrap farm and we also have an automated trade platform right here if you want to see the videos where we've built all of these then head over to the automation playlist which should already be on screen make sure to save it and watch it after finishing this video but now let's get to our resources right here and i'm gonna be building the first farm with you guys while looking at my drawing that i've got right here on my phone so we'll start off with an extra large platform c this is where all the soil and the soil centrifuges will be. So let's go ahead and unpack this. We've also got the soil right here. Now I've added two of these medium storages. Next up we've got a medium platform A with an auto arm on top. Make sure to turn it around so that the green can take the resources. And we'll of course add the respective resource in the selector slot of each auto arm before turning the farms on. But more on that in a bit. Next up we've got a large platform B with three medium storages and two portable smelting furnaces. Of course if you don't have these ones then you can just use the normal smelters and that's gonna be okay. However this way we can have two of them without using that much space. And they only cost 8 astronium so if you've watched my infinite astronium video then you know it's easy to get a ton of astronium so you can build even more of these. And other cool stuff of course. Let's get another auto arm. There we go. And then the last platform with four medium resource canisters. This is where all of our items will get stored and we can just pull up with the rover over here and collect all we need and we'll replace the filled medium resource canisters with new empty ones and then we can just haul our carbon, glass and ceramic to the base. Awesome, so basically this is the farm. I'm gonna build the other two off camera and then I'm gonna connect all of these to power and then all we need is some small canisters, some items for the selector slots and we'll get to turn all of them on. So I'll see you guys in about 3 seconds. And I'm back. I've got all three of them built and we've connected them to power. Actually made an interesting wiring system down below this platform and it all fits into the base so that we can get a ton of power for these farms which means they will run at high speed getting us more resources. Other than that I just placed some items in the selector slots of these auto arms. You basically want each of the auto arms to grab only the resource they are supposed to and not grab anything else so that's why you should do that and I've also set all of these soil centrifuges to their specific resource. So the first two are set for organic, the next two are for quartz, and the last two for clay. Make sure you set all of them on loop, because otherwise the farm wouldn't function. And now all we have to do is feed some soil canisters in here. There we go. And this should start crafting the resources we need. And we'll see how fast this actually works. Okay, so here's the process. The soil centrifuges first create the clay, for example, in this case. Then the auto arm grabs it feeds it to the smelting furnaces, which turns the clay into ceramic. Right, and then the last auto arm takes the ceramic and just feeds it into these medium resource canisters. Basically that's it, we are converting soil into ceramic. Then this other farm does the exact same thing but with glass. And the last one, the same thing again but with carbon. Now these will keep on going until they run out of soil. And when these run out of soil, we'll just get the rover. We'll dig up some more soil and we'll feed more into it. So these farms are working great. We've got so much power going through them that the soil centrifuges are working way faster than the auto arms. So you should keep that in mind if you've got a ton of power and they go 
way beyond full speed, then you may need to supplement with one extra auto arm. But in this case, I don't think we'll need them to go as fast as they are going right now. So I'll probably just have a splitter at the other end and send less power through them. But just enough so they still run at a high speed. And yeah, we've got a ton, a ton of power going through our glacial base. With all of these huge wind turbines, a hundred of these medium ones, we've got tons of batteries. So yeah, we've got plenty of power in here. And we use that with all of the farms that we keep on building. So if you want to see more videos like this one, where we get infinite of a specific resource, like infinite astronium, infinite bites, I think I did actually three different bite farms, at least two scrap farms that I actually remember right now, and a lot more, so make sure you go ahead and save the automation playlist. It should already be on screen, go watch that next. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Astroneers!